All right, I got you. So he goes and he pays my gas, pumps my gas. Why sit in the car? Don't say nothing. Put down the window. I'm like, the name's Tiffany and speed off. My name's not even Tiffany. Only pumping my gas at night now. Don't be alarmed, but I'm only pumping my gas at night now in Miami, okay? Either I'm going to get snatched up or free gas, but I'm willing to take that chance. But listen to this. I saw this thing and this girl was like, y'all don't be getting money. You pretty girls don't be getting money because y'all don't be having your hand out. Y'all don't be asking. So this guy tonight's like, hey, Omar, what's your name? What's your name? I got a boyfriend, so I usually just ignore them. But I saw this video. I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get some free gas. So I'm like, you can get my name if you pay for my gas. He asked me how much you about to put in. I was only going to put in 10, but I'm talking about 50. He said, all right, I got you. So he goes and he pays my gas, pumps my gas. Why sit in the car? Don't say nothing. Put down the window. I'm like, the name's Tiffany and speed off. My name's not even Tiffany. And I should have thought I was about to fill the tank up, but that's besides the point. So then I didn't even go into the gas station to get the vape that I originally stopped the gas station for. So I go to another gas station to stop. This other man hollering at me. <laughs> I don't know if my confidence was skyrocketing or something, but I said, Pay for my gas so you can get my name. He said, how much you finna put in? I said, 20. So tell me why I got $70 worth of gas. It's pretty much a full tank. Still not full because you know these, these, these gas prices be crazy. Just by having your hand out, okay? So when these dudes in your DMs bothering you, ask them for money. Either they gonna leave you alone or send the money. Win-win situation either way. When they bother you on the street, ask them for some money. Either they gonna leave you alone or give you the money. I don't think they think you're broke. I think they think we're spoiled. So just ask. He, here's, my, here's my response and here's my reaction to this. You know what? This is what happens when y'all simp, guys. Why are you paying for God? Why are you doing these things for women? That's not your girlfriend. And I'm talking about with the intention of marriage. Why are you doing, why are you tricking money off of women and they don't even claim you? You can't get, I can't really get mad at these females for why the way they, the why they are, the way they are. No dudes, it's y'all, it's y'all fault. Y'all would, you see y'all, see you got a lot of these blue pilled baby boomers, baby cooner, simp ass niggas. Just simp ass males, these baby beta male simp, old ass simp males. These ba you a lot of the, a lot of the simping started with the um, the males who were baby boomers. You know, born in the forties and fifty, at, born from um, night like I would say nineteen nineteen thirties, nineteen forties, nineteen fifties, those and nineteen sixties. Those were the original simps. They thought they were doing something. Do you know something that stuck out to me in that video? She has a boyfriend. How come he ain't paying for your gas, bitch? How come he ain't paying putting gas in your tank? If if, if he see, I mean, if y'all live together, how come he ain't doing that? And I'm not saying he should, but I'm saying if you're in a couple, it's about teamwork. What are you doing for him? See, I don't understand this. A lot of you ladies, you so-called ladies, a lot of you heifers. A lot of you females got men, but you're always asking other men for money. Why are you with a dude? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna just play the devil's advocate and the angel's advocate. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the woke and and red pill and facts and truth advocates. I don't understand why you women got men who got a man, but you're asking other dudes to pay your bills. Why don't you make the guy that you're with, and if you're a teen. Especially if you're your husband. See, I told y'all, a lot of these females, they want nice guys to be the cleanup man. You know what I'm saying? They want nice, decent men to pay for everything. But the dude who's living in her house or she living with, or, you know, probably, which is probably uh, more, more, more than likely, he living up in her house, he fucking her, he ain't paying for nothing. But he's just paying with his penis and cum. It's semen. There's something wrong with that. I don't understand why you women, you if if this was a woman of integrity, and if let, let, let me say it like this. If I'm with somebody, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, if he insists, that's one thing. But I mean, I'm gonna get to you guys late. I'm gonna get to you guys later later. Why are you with a man where you have to ask other men 
to pay your bills. That's dusty. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing respectful, and there's not. That's, that's nothing. That's something. That's that. That is certainly nothing to be proud of. Nothing to be proud of. And it's always melanated women. It's always melanated women. I have never seen. I have, and I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I have yet to see white females talk that bullshit out in the open. I have yet to see Asian Asian women talk that bullshit. See, it's always black women doing that dumbass. Gold digging, whole ass, tricking, prostitute type of shit. Then y'all get mad when we stereo. Then you get mad when the world stereotypes you the way they do. Then y'all want to bitch and talk about you're being exploited. Y'all want to cry about you're going missing. Then you got a fat ass bitch like Michi X talking about, oh, black women are victims. You got these pro act bitches talking that bullshit. Talk about how black women are being sexually exploited and objectified. But she don't call that shit out. I'm not saying she does. Look, I'm saying she's inconsistent as hell. I have a problem with people not being consistent to a T. You got a lot of these pro wax simps, these pro blacks, these B1 and B123 simp ass niggas who don't call that shit out. They don't call out the thoughtery and the prostitution mindset that a lot of modern melanated women have. How in the hell, it, look, if she was a woman of class, she should have told him, no, I got a man. Thank you for the compliment. Hey, I'm good. You know, I'm good. Thank you very much. I got a man. You know, I'm 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 flattered and keep it moving. Now you 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 got some of these single race, single, single son of a bitch, single mother raised males who can't take no for an answer because they saw women, because they were around a bunch of bitches. Let's keep it real. And even if he came, even if he came from a two-parent home, a lot of times. Those households are matriarchal. The man can be making six figures, guys. I said this many times. The man can be the primary breadwinner, but guess what? She emasculates the father. She emasculates her well-to-do, high, so-called high-value husband and withholds sex, treat him like shit, disrespect him. Meanwhile, he at work and she messing around. I've seen that in my family. Women in my family do this type of shit. Then y'all wonder why black women don't get the respect that they should get. You make it hard for good women. See, here's the thing. The fact that she's saying that, this is how y'all go missing. This is how a lot of y'all get taken advantage of. You know what I'm saying? As much as I'm mad at these men, see, I see, as much as I'm annoyed at these guys simping, this is how y'all females become soft targets for the wrong type of dude. So I don't want to hear nothing about y'all going missing. I don't want to hear about y'all being exploited. Y'all, I'm so sick and tired of y'all being talking about you being objectified. You're tired of dudes tricking money off y'all. I'm sick and tired. I don't want to hear none of that shit until you address this shit and take accountability. You wonder why some of these dudes we stalkerish and stuff like that. You wonder why these dudes will offer y'all money and don't even come through and then, then take advantage of y'all, harm y'all, sexually assault y'all, rape y'all, and kill y'all. Like you, like that bitch on only, like these women on OnlyFans who met this dude and he offered to pay $500 and she ended up murdered. This is how these, see, nobody wants to talk about this. But if you're a man who says this, you get canceled. If you're a black woman who, who, who or just a woman in general that calls out bad female behavior and, and actually hold these simp ass beta male simps males, whole ass niggas accountable, you're, you're a pick me. So when black women, when women in general hold bad women accountable, these toxic prostitute thought broke dusty ass hoes accountable. And then when, um, then when men do it, there's a problem. So when women actually hold other women accountable, then all of a sudden she's called a pick me by these bitches, by these whole ass feminazi bitches, these black, these misandrous hoes, black misandrous, especially and then these simp, these beta males who get, they get mad because you're telling them, you're telling, you te you got women who are, who care about men, like pink book lessons in them, who care about men, will defend men in agreement of men. Danica Marie, who warn who warned males about telling men to stop simping, all of a sudden, these dudes get mad because they don't think they can do any better. What's the, that's what it is. So, again... Even if she's living together, let's say, let's say it's a balanced relationship. Or he, why are you with a man where you, why, I don't understand. Can you ask me this question? 
Why are y'all with guys who don't provide you anything but peanuts? Even if he is doing his part, doing what he's supposed to do. Let's just say that. Why are you asking other men for money? Then, then scam these guys. And, say, and then when these guys try to talk to you, then you want to leave them in dust. Guess what? That might be cute now when you're in your 20s. But, you're, but, this, but, it's a good, but lady, there's an expiration date. That shit won't work in your 30s. When you get when women get up up to the late the, to the mid and late 30s, guess what? You're not gonna get that type of offer. The DMs are gonna be low. The lights will be dim. Guys will walk past you. And guess what? What you gonna do? Because ain't nobody, ain't no dude, and you can talk about how unfair society is, even though y'all have all the unchecked female privilege and all the benefits of being a female in this criminocracy. Guess what? When y'all hit that wall, y'all not going to get that. She ain't going to tell you that. You're not going to get that type of, that, that type. you're not going to get dudes doing those things for her, paying for gas and stuff. And if they do, you better, you better be ready to open your damn legs and mouth.